Hello. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to start your talk for IELTS Speaking Part 2. Now, there is no right way or wrong way to start your talk, but I want to show you a good way to start. And the topic we will use for this lesson is describe a book you recently read. So let's look at how to start. Here are two different ways to start. You could say, I'd like to talk about, or I'm going to tell you about. Now, this one is a little bit more formal, and this one is less formal, but they're both fine. The IELTS speaking test is not academic. It's not formal, so it's okay to use both of them. You can also see here that I've written I'd and I'm. So we don't say I would like to tell you about or I'm going to tell you about. We say I'd, I'm. And this is to help you get a better band score for your pronunciation. When you use the contraction, I would, I'd, this is better for your pronunciation. Now, after this, what do you need to put? Well, a lot of students copy the words on their card. And it's not very good to do that. If you want to get a band score 6, 7 and above, you need to show the examiner that you can use your own language that you have flexible language to paraphrase what is written on your card. So now let's look at how we could paraphrase that. So here's one way to paraphrase the information on the card. So I'd like to talk about a novel which I read two weeks ago. So you can see that the word book, we paraphrased for the word novel. Now you need to learn all the different types of books that you can read. So was it a novel? Was it fiction? Non-fiction? Was it a guidebook? Was it a self-help book? So that's one way to paraphrase. Take this word and be more accurate. What kind of book was it? You can also see here I have put a clause into the sentence and that will help you get a higher band score for your grammar. And here we've got two weeks ago. So instead of repeating the word recently, we can give the time when you did it. Two weeks ago, one week ago, a month ago. You can do that. So that's a very nice way to paraphrase and start your talk but we can improve it. Let's have a look at one more. And here's how we can improve that start. So you can see here that one thing you can do is give more information, more description. And we can use an adjective. So here I've used the adjective fascinating, which means really interesting, fascinating. You could also put useful, exciting. You can describe the book more. And you can also see that I've changed this, the paraphrase here. And instead of giving the information, I have given a paraphrase, which is not so long ago. And that is a direct paraphrase for recently. It's very nice to use that. And it also means that during your talk, you can give more information about exactly when you read the book. And that's a way to develop and extend your talk. So I hope you understand now one way, a good way, to start your talk. Well, that's all for this lesson. I'll see you again in another IELTS lesson.